Hi everyone, it's Nicole Wilkins with Fitness Rx for Women, and this is my next fit tip. Today I want to talk about ways to cure or curb your sweet cravings at night or any time throughout the day actually. So I have four different options and I think this is one of the biggest things that prevents people from seeing progress. They do really well throughout the day or maybe they don't even eat enough throughout the day and then at night they really falter because they're so hungry or they're bored and you end up searching for the most convenient food or sweets or desserts and then you sleep on it. And that is definitely one way to prevent yourself from losing body fat and seeing the definition that you're looking for. So I'm normal and human being, just like anyone else, and I do have sweet cravings at night. So here are some of the things that I will do to curb those and kind of keep, and keep myself on track. The first one is <clears throat> hot tea. So this I actually just got, um, this pumpkin spice tea, it's pumpkin time of the year. So I'll have a glass of hot tea. Sometimes just having something in my hand or something um, to drink will help with the cravings. And if you add a little bit of stevia to it, it can make it a little bit sweeter. So try doing a hot tea or even an iced tea. I have a cucumber here. Cucumber is uh, very, very low calorie. It's almost like eating water in a way. And so you won't have to worry about going way over your macros if you're counting your macros. And it's crunchy, it's cold, so it can help make you feel a little bit more full. Um, so try thinking uh, more the raw veggie route. Cut up carrots. And sometimes people think, oh, carrots have too much sugar in them. I don't want to eat that at night. Well, here's the thing. Weigh the options. Carrots or berries or something like that that has a little bit of sugar in it or a box of cookies or M&Ms because you can't control yourself. Obviously, the carrots are not going to make you fat. I've never heard anybody eating carrots and getting fat from them. So um, don't be afraid of the little bit of natural sugars that are in some of the vegetables and, and fruits. So if you're really having a hard time, choosing that option is better than um, the, the latter. And the other option I have is a protein shake. So this is a pre-made protein shake, but there's a ton of, like one, one extra scoop of whey protein powder is about 100 to 150 calories. And I would shoot for more of a whey protein um, or, and watch the amount of fat and the amount of sugar that's in there, and the amount of carbs. So you want something that's low, you can add a little bit of water, put it in the microwave for like 15 to 20 seconds and make it a little bit of a brownie. Some work better than others, but um, having one scoop of protein powder with some ice in the blender and having a little bit of a smoothie uh, is very low calorie, high protein, and can also help stave off those sugar cravings. So hopefully these ideas help you out. Um, stay on track. The nighttime is usually when most people have a hard time, so hopefully um, this is your solution. This is my fit tip for this week. Until next week, keep living the fit life. Thank you.